What's up, Tim Ground? How are you guys doing? I know I've been, <laughs> I've been gone for a while, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been super, super busy, especially this month. Um, and I promise next month will be different. I try as much as possible to find time this month, but seriously, there's just not enough time because i've been away for some time okay um yeah um, you guys will get extra clips that have nothing to do with this video trust me like extra clips from every angle okay like right now i have two cameras here i have one in front of me and i have another one here hi and yeah and again i want to use this opportunity to wish hannah a happy birthday okay your boyfriend is the one sending this message through me to you or through this platform <laughs> okay on behalf of the mexican crown blog tv and fans uh, we are wishing you a happy birthday all right guys um so let us get started welcome to our channel I just saw this okay some institutions sell certificate to nigerian graduates for 300 to 500 thousand naira i don't understand why a, a school would say their certificates <laughs> to a student who can't even defend it right now what they're saying is most of these schools are outside of nigeria and it is actually from the school the school sells it to them i don't know i i usually think it's fake before but it seems like it's original and the nigerian government are kind of um um serious about this issue and they said anybody that's found wanting will go to jail because it's a serious crime so here general shwaibu ibrahim the director general of the national youth service corps have said that in recent times there's been an upsurge in the number of graduates who cannot defend their degree certificate. He continued by saying, to check this ugly trend of certificate racketeering, we strongly recommend that the federal government or the federal minister of education liaise with the federal ministry of foreign affairs to ensure that all degrees and HND certificates obtained outside the shores of Nigeria are authenticated at the Nigerian consulate in the country of study so that's what um they're saying um okay moving on to the next news guys the not so exciting part about making a youtube video is that you have to sit on the chair for hours editing the current governor okay of emo state having issues with the former governor of emo state and seriously it is not even funny rocha socorcha versus the current governor of emo state politics really is a dirty game or can be a dirty game sometimes <laughs> seriously and here they said efcc seizes six multi-million naira properties traced to okorocha wife and daughter okay while culture was still governor you know he's under immunity you can't really do him anything because he's still a governor but immediately that man left the seat the enemies were all over him i think okocha why was governor step on toes <laughs> so to speak in fact there's a video that surfaced online attempt to repossess okocha's daughter's car in emo state my car. Is this her car? Is this, is this the new Nigeria now? Oga, who are you in my car? Who are you? Who are you? The man said that the governor is coming. No, no, no. That's why he's in my car. The CS asked me to stay inside the car. Who asked you to stay inside the car? My bags. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chief security officer asked, asked, asked him to stay in her car. Okay. Is this is CSO to the government of Emo State? Is this how law and order is done now? In the okay, this is about what? Government people. Are you not hearing me? Okay, guys, so much for that. Let us. um talk about entertainment 
here. Okay, some will lose vows to tackle piracy, advocate stakeholders collaboration to promote culture. So what some will do wants to do, you want to put an end okay, to piracy. And you know that's a difficult task to do. Even before he became governor, so many people have tried to stop that in Nigeria. But it is just not forthcoming. Their plan or anything they, they plan doing doesn't you know work out. And I hope this works out. But you know, it's gonna be difficult. The reason why I said it's gonna be difficult to do this is because as long as poverty is still in the country, it's going to be difficult, except you help contributing to the lives of the people or work into upgrading the lives of the people setting this thing or doing this. That's when I think, you know, this plan can work out. But they said they're going to tackle it. And it's very, it's a good news that a, a governor is ready to join the league in fighting piracy. Guys, this is the song I play when I'm trying to meditate. <laughs> Hey guys, there's been this crazy thing going on right now. I talk about xenophobic attack, you know, in one of my videos um, in the past um, about South Africa versus Nigeria. And, you know, um, attention I've been drawn to, to this, you know, most people are kind of just tired. You know, I'm talking about Nigerians right now, about the news, about Nigerians being attacked in South Africa. And trust me, yeah, we've confirmed it. Most of us have confirmed it that most South Africans just don't like Nigerians. And guess what the National Association of Nigerian Students are saying? They're protesting against this xenophobic attack. In Makodi, these protesters, okay, stormed South Africa owned businesses um big businesses like um big companies rather like mtn dstv saying that if they don't stop in south africa they will have no choice than to destroy their offices or to do the same thing that they are doing to nigerians abroad it is very obvious we've seen it you know even their musicians some of their musicians you know didn't hide their feelings you know about that they don't really like nigeria that's how it is it started from nigerian traders and um, business owners um making more money than them and um, which led to xenophobic attack like in the first place now after that moment the hate expanded even their celebrities like i said which is violence you guys recall aka's tweet you know after nigeria won South Africa, Bafana, Bafana, um, you know, in football. Now, this was a country that admired our music. They admire our artists. Even their girls, you know, love our artists, our male artists, most of their girls. Now, where is the love? Like, right now, I can't even see any love. Seriously, there are some countries, like, right now, I might not even visit. And some of these countries, you know, South Africa comes first on, on the list. Because even if I, I got it for free, even if I got a visit, for free like all, all expense paid trip i might not even go because of this crazy news about south africa because my safety is not guaranteed just recently we heard um this guy from my big, big, big brother ninja housemate tayo fanero who was you know assaulted by the police and he couldn't even do anything because i mean he's, he's in their country but for me i i don't know what to say he says he's gonna he's not gonna press charges some people were like why don't you just press charges because you know they're gonna do it to another nigeria Nigerian. We're, we're on Bemo Road in Santi. My man, don't touch me like that. Why are you beating me? Why, why are you hitting me? I cannot drop my phone. This is my own right. See the way they are treating me. Can you see the way they are treating me? Can you see the way they are treating me? See the way they are beating me. Can you see? Yes. Hey, just record this. Stop, stop fighting me like that, man. Yeah, yeah, my phone. Yeah. This guy is here. Uh, so, I just want to thank God for my life, first of all. And I want to thank everybody, you know, that stood up for me, you know, the, the people that came to the police station, all the phone calls and text messages, you know. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, Africa, we're still enslaved. You know, this this is 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 a problem that affects every African. You know, even waking up this morning, I can't even say if I slept or whatever. My body is sore through the beating was too much. You know, the bitterness, the hatred. You know, two handcuffs on someone that is not a criminal. Didn't take me through the counter or whatever. Took me through the back, and you know the beating continued and everything. You know, but above all, I'm I'm not angry. You know, because two wrongs cannot make a right. I'm not even maybe interested in pressing charges or or whatever. At this moment, I just I want to thank God for my life. You know, but every African should learn from this. Don't see it until it becomes your turn, or maybe someone close to you again becomes a victim. It happens every time. It happens every time. I'm, I'm just, you know, like, you know, emotional about the whole thing because this is not the Africa that we should have. This is, this is not cool at all. Not cool at all, man. Not cool. But thank you. Not just police officers, like even the citizens of South Africa just, you know, don't really like Nigerians. I heard that the FG have sent a message to the South African government, you know, to look into this matter of xenophobic attack. I mean, should have stopped, you know, since I don't know why it's still happening. Okay, moving on to the next news, all right? It's obvious that this year is for Bonner Boy and Tenny, hands down. Bona boy number one, like number one. Nice one, Bona boy. Everywhere you go, Bona, Bona, Bona. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations to Bona boy. He just released his album, and the name of the album is African Giant. And trust me, all the songs on this album are dope. They are dope songs. I've listened to them, and seriously, I like most of the song on the album and uh, the fact that this guy promotes africa most especially nigeria and our history this is just simply amazing i even saw a video of cardi b you know vibing to bonner boy's song <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next news. Here we have the video. Now the video just released a song, blew my mind. Okay, and so many Nigerians are kind of disappointed, and you know, in the video for putting out that song with Chris Brown. Like, I mean, Chris Brown featuring Chris Brown. You know, this is a big thing for me. I don't see anything wrong with the song. I like the song, guys. What is wrong with the song? There's just so much hate about this song online. And some people even advise the video not to hype a song, you know, and just allow and just allow the song to drop. Obio, let me tell you something you don't know, eh? If they make people they anticipate they wait for a song, eh? The song no come meet up to the expectation or the anticipation, eh? The song must fail. Yes. I just tell you now because you're my guy, I got to tell you as the be. Eh? Now no, they make people they anticipate the song. No, they hype the song. Just drop the song. When you do that, we make me that time. You know, hype the song. I know, since only the song blown your own. No, they hype song. Oh, no, they hype song. Eh, you show you the hype song for like four or five days. The, the, the song ran up coming up to the expectation of the anticipation. You don't feel that they fucked up now. That's what you do it as at that time. Eh. You hype as a hype as a people start to complain when you drop the song. Just drop the song. You understand? Now, boy. Let me tell you, they compare it to whiskey. Whiskey, though, look, whiskey. Then we just drop some. Only blood with the kind of thing. No, they anticipate. No, they I mean, this is David's first, first single in 2019, right? What do you think about the song? Let me know what you think about the song, okay, in the comment section below. <laughs> To the next news here we have a story about bob whiskey okay bob whiskey <sighs> let me let me start like this um a lady okay by the name Ifoma um came out saying that bob whiskey is owing her eight million naira the money bob whiskey borrowed for surgery see 
I, I'm not even here to talk about the news. I'm here to talk about the fact that Bobuski, is it that these people show us a different life on social media? I understand people live fake life on social media, but again, sometimes it's just kind of hard to believe that most of these people that get new cars, you know, that actually belongs to them, you know, they got new, they get new cars, the front house that, that, you know, belongs to them. Maybe they bought it or maybe they just rented, but it's kind of, kind of good looking houses. The other day we heard about Tonto DK being broke. It's funny that these people can't even afford it. But the cars that they buy, they're actually more than this money that we see online that these people owe. Some of them, they will say they're owing $4 million, they're owing $2 million and they can't pay back. What is happening? But you just got a car that worth $12.5 million naira. <sighs> Where did they get the money to do that? Guys, I don't I don't really understand what is going on guys moving on to the next one here We have a funny video about Adekunle Gold. First time he asked someone out on a date. I was 15 and I was so stupid. I wrote a letter and then oh gosh. So I wrote a letter and I put perfume on <laughs> I drew so many heart shape on the letter just so at least when she opens it, this thing goes wow. <laughs> nah. Now the question of the day. Okay, the first question. A gun on your head. Alright, a gun on your head. You have one phone call to make. If the person you call answers, you will die. If the person doesn't answer, you will be set free. Who will you call? So who will you call? <laughs> who you go call? The next one, there are 12 kids in a class. Six kids are wearing socks and four are wearing shoes. Three kids are wearing both. How many are bare feet? Let's, let me know your answer in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.